So who wants your money? I'll show you. I can make more money than you have ever dreamed of. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to Australia. We don't kiss in public. But when we get a chance like this, we are masters in it. Stacy anymore. I'm not the kind who just goes out tasting and crying. I only touch something if I feel I can stick onto it. I'm not the case here. I always try different things. You never know unless you try, right? Is that your policy? You somehow just know you'll love it. And then you try it and realize you made the wrong choice. Now you can't spit and you can't swallow. It's a terrible situation to win. When the mind is set, it can never taste bad. The mind. That burger plays dirty tricks at times. You know, you shouldn't reject something just because it's foreign to you. And who knows, it might be what's best. Point accepted. Your choice is yours. You are the ambassador for Miguran today. Anyone can do business. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Did you hear that? And you want to lose this house on this good for nothing? Oh my I don't care about others. Do you trust me, Ma? One should ask this question when one proves oneself. Shameless garbage. Sunama, yes, I must tell you. Garbage. What proof do you want? Dad? Get the loan. Go to Australia. Stand on your feet and get this house back. Okay. And what if I did? <laughs> First do. Make a deal now. Right now. Okay. Okay. If you do it, I'll give you twice the amount for your business. <laughs> but if you don't, you'll not get anything more from my money. Not a single paisa. You hear? Oh, who wants your money? I'll show you. I can make more money than you have ever dreamed of. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. You will see. I'm going to Australia. I'm going warm. Sweep the floor. I'm an engineering graduate. Look at me now. I'm just a coolie. A coolie? Like a cool guy? Actually, I don't know how to make I can't believe you don't know how to make tea. Back home, even water was served to me whenever I asked. Wow, spoiled kid. You think I'm an idiot to like that kind of a job? Do you know what kind of a family we are? How could you even send me there? Why? That's the biggest Indian shop in Sydney. I don't care if it is biggest or not. I'm just a coolie there, okay? Just a coolie. Back home, those jobs are meant for a different class. But people here, they don't understand. When you go for any interview, they ask if you have previous experience in that job. But someone who does that kind of a job,
can't even afford an air ticket. So it's the low status that bothers you, not the work itself. Um, sir, I'm not sure if it is okay to ask, but you work for tourism, right? I do, yes. Yeah. In case of there are vacancies in your work, would you mind recommending me for an office job? No. This is just a small drop. You always think of big turnovers. But our main focus is to give our customers a new experience, a valuable experience, which they will cherish for years to come. And they will talk about this to their friends. By giving them a value which is much more than the money they have spent, will add to more customers and we will make more money. That is it. This is really awkward. I know I said I'd recommend you for a job, but my company has been downsizing and I've been made redundant. Looks like you're in a better position than me now. I'm sorry, I am sorry. Do you think he's a fool like you to call your daydreams as business plans? Shameless garbage. You daydreamer. Have you ever made one rupee of your own? Hi, sir. Can I please help you? two people on your booking. Where is Stacy? She is not joining me today. No. No more doubt, Stacy. You have proved you can. But we're balancing work and study. There'll never be any time for us together. Are you mocking at me? As if I don't earn enough for us? Maybe who's telling you to work and you'll start uni? You've got dads. <laughs> that doesn't stop me from eating. Don't worry, we'll have enough for the repayments after all the expenses. I've done the calculations. Do you trust me? Just bring the papers. So it was a deal. Just a bloody business deal, right? Not love. Please don't say that, Owen. It's precious to me, and hearing that from your lying mouth is disgusting. All right. If I didn't really dash you, why the hell would I name my new business after you? Who knows what's behind that? Could just be another cheap trick to try and fool me. have what it takes to succeed in business. You're even cheaper than Rotten Rufus. Deepa was fortunately brilliant. She escaped from hell. Don't tell me. I don't want you. I don't want you in hell. That's reserved for me. Whenever they give you something, they just want more in return. 